Hey guys, welcome to week two of the Epson Full Song tutorial series. Um, last week we've made a pet. If you have missed that video, uh, check it out first. If you wanna follow this um, this series, uh, this was the pet that we made last week. It's exactly the same, except that I now dragged it out uh, to uh, well, 21 bars, and I gave it a blue color. <laughs> Oh, and I, I did use an equalizer to filter a little bit of the lows away. I hope you don't consider that as uh, cheating. I need to do some basic mixing to uh, to to get everything to um, to sit right uh, in the mix. So this was the pad that we made last week. And now what I added is um, these four tracks on the Epsid. Um so there's a lot to explain and I'm gonna move a little bit fast you might wanna pause the screen sometimes or um, watch it two times I don't know this is the first uh, melody that I made and you can see the notes right here So um, that is that one, and in Epsilent I used just the third oscillator, and it's set to a triangle, single, um, just one voice, and I used a basic Lopez filter there, and what I did, I... Um, set an envelope to the to the main pitch, and I think I also, yeah, also set an uh, envelope to the filter frequency, and then it's going through a high pass filter, and that is set to um, about f uh, 450 hertz, and it's not modulated. And if we look at the envelopes, um, don't worry about this one. Don't worry about this one. Just make sure you have this one. Um, it's synced and it's looped and it's set to um, just octaves so it's at 0 and then minus 12 0 minus 12 and it's all on the on the grid I believe so make sure that looks like this and then the filter modulation is just a little plugs and there are 8 notes So without the filter it's going to sound like this. And I set that same envelope that is on the filter, on the Lopez filter. I also set that to the amp. No, I did not. Sorry. Um, I did try that with other oscillators but I didn't use them later on. Um, yeah, so that is basically it. I used um, I used a multi tap, which is um, sort of a delay, and I set the timing to 150 and then uh, basically zero, which doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna try it on a 75. set this one to 50 as well and then I'll pen one all the way to one side and one uh, to the other side and one center so that's uh, amount of 50 we can experiment with this a bit you can hear this if you're using headphones and then I use the surround option I set it to rotate so that it's sort of it's a really cool function and sort of uh, it spreads the, the sound and then well you, you hear it with a headphone you hear it sort of go around and you can set the speed here so I'm gonna send it somewhere around one second and I can use the spread knob to this is also funny. I should sit somewhere uh, there. So 
so that's it for this sound the envelope um, once again this is what it looks like so we're just using one oscillator and that's oscillator C and I think I also used one LFO yeah oh it's not used anymore but what I did is um, I can use it yeah I think I'm gonna use the LFO uh, what you should do is um, disable the oscillators that you're not using but you're not using them anyway so it doesn't really matter and then when the slide is on it means that the LFO is controlling um, oscillator C and that one we're using so that's good and then we um, set it very fast here um, here you can set the, set the rate and then I give it a little bit of um, pitch detuning so if I do that extremely it will sound like this and I don't want that I just want a little detuning effect so I'll do something like this and you have to be a little bit subtle with that but it gives it a very nice warm effect sort of like an old tape machine um, yeah that's it I think for this one and then later I used the same um, the same preset but I added to that and this one is slightly more complicated I think or maybe not I went for a granular here and I transposed it to 12 and I chose a sample from the library and it's the um, it's called Stretto Hum and I think it's in vocal yeah it's in the vocal uh, map this one and um, then I also pitch modulated that one so if we look at the envelopes uh, we just use oscillator B here so don't worry about all this stuff I modulate the amp and this one is a little bit important um, make sure it's set to loop and sync it and then after two and a half measures you're gonna um, uh, pull the amp down a bit so it's gonna play at maximum volume here and then it's, go, uh, it's going a little bit down and then this is the uh, last section and I did that because I also modulate the pitch and as you can hear this is where it goes up in pitch So the cool thing is that I'm um, using all these different notes. I'll show you the notes once again. And for the short notes, it's just re-triggering the sound. But for the for the long ones, the envelope is taking longer, so it has time to reach um, this stage where it goes up uh, one octave. So this is all set to zero, and then this one is set to twelve. So it's twelve semitones up. Um, You can see that at the end of this long note, it um, it's transposed one octave, and that is why I modulated the amp uh, down there because otherwise it was getting a little bit too loud. I can uh, let you hear it without. Um, so make it something uh, like that and then um, yeah so this is the pitch envelope also sync and loop it of course then it's on a granular and I modulate the sample start so that's this one here by default it's set to a hundred but you should set it to zero and then um, set the timing to zero and then you modulate this um, up so that the so that the envelope scrolls through the sample and this way you can uh, sync the sample because now you can sync your envelope and the envelope is controlling the time and the speed of the sample so set this to zero right click modulate 
and make sure the envelope looks like this and goes over a section of four bars. And then the other thing I did here is I um, set the density to 8, the random time down, and the size um, to 10,000, I think. That's a lot. And then uh, just a simple high pass filter to filter away the lows. It has no envelope. And I think this is the same uh, multi multi tab effect. All these settings are the same as in the in the last sound. So that is just this additional pad. And now we got these three. And we need maybe to sync this delay a little bit better. Yeah, you should, uh, or you could, because you hear when I set this to, um, what was it at, 50? You can hear that the sound starts too late, because it waits, it waits for that time. So if I set it to zero, it starts immediately at the beginning of the node. So I could do that. The other thing I could do is give it a little bit of dry, because the dry was all the way down, and now we hear the original sound at the first beat. Maybe that's even a better solution. Alright guys, moving on. Um, then what I did is I added a hi-hat, just to give it some, uh, some rhythm. And these are the notes for the hi-hat, and I was pretty random uh, with this. Um, I just I just clicked some stuff. It doesn't really matter, but you can hear the the different pitches this way. This one is uh, very simple. Um, I just set it to Gringler, and then I loaded Open Hi Hat Two from um, the drums. Let's see, acoustic drums. Um, open Hi Hat, and then I chose number two, and. Um, the rest is just the same and the pitch is just done um, through the MIDI notes and there's nothing in the effect. I did use uh, one filter and it's a high pass filter and I set it to the maximum value and then I right click and set um, assign this to macro 1. If we go to the perform page we can uh, see that macro and it's now all the way down but I modulated it so that at first it's high passed and there it goes down so um, to do that just um, if you're using logic set this to um, latch or learn and then you can move the fader and um, it will uh, it will it will move down here and the filter opens up more and in Ableton you can just uh, press record and, and move the fader so that's for the hats the high hats now we've got this oh and also on this plug sound I did use an equalizer and I boosted a lot of the highs and <laughs> I mean a lot uh, 15 dB so that's kind of crazy and I um, removed the lows so that's just uh, a mixing mixing thing and then the hi-hats uh, it has uh, nothing going on and then we have one uh, kick drum and I sent this one a little bit to uh, a reverb um, and so because there's no not really a reverb effect in, um, in absinthe although you can use the etherizer and it sounds familiar but this sounded um, a little bit better it's in combination with the etherizer so uh, with the kick And I 
think then here uh, the main section of the song um, will uh, will come and we'll get to that next week. So for the kick, I did a similar thing as with the hi hat. Very simple, just granular, and I did the kick three from the drums, acoustics, and then kick. This one, and I stretch it a bit because I set the timing to 20%, and that means it's gonna play back 20% of the original uh, speed. So if I set this to 100. And I disable the etherizer for now. This was the normal sound. Um, you can make it slower by dragging this down. Or maybe, oh, this is cool. I'll set it to 10. This may be even better. And the rest is just, um, just, just the same. And then I use the etherizer. I set the feedback to 80 and I think that's the only thing that I that I changed here. Ooh, this is giving some nice low end. I might want to use an uh, equalizer on that later. So uh, we got the intro of our song. Um, I'll play it uh, completely through. And then um, I'll see you next week for, um, I think we're going to do some basic mixing, I kind of have to. And then uh, next week we're going to build uh, the most interesting part and I think we're going to build some heavy drums and, uh, and a bass line. I might spread that over uh, two weeks. So um, here's your song and I'll, I'll see you next week.